Hi, my name's Anna Gare. Welcome to the Buy West Eat Best Good Choice Cooking Series. I think we all love a one pot wonder, especially when it's full of lots of beautiful West Australian produce. Now I've got a ripper dish for you here. It's aromatic Mount Barker chicken and Lindley Valley pork hot pot. Really simple, everything goes into the one pot and then we bake it for about an hour and a half. So starting with the chicken, I've got the beautiful Mount Barker chicken, beautiful free range, fresh, loved chickens. So I'm using 800 grams of lovely juicy chicken thighs and 800 grams of pork. So the chicken goes into the pot. Now onto our beautiful pork belly strips. These are the Lindley Valley ones and they're just absolutely gorgeous. So we're just slicing them in half. So into the pot, pork belly and the chicken. So now for all the aromatics and the veg, we'll do the old trick of spinning over the board, nice fresh start. So we've got the chicken and the pork in the pot. Now I'm going to add half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of rice vinegar, half a cup of water. Don't you love those recipes where they're all the same? A tablespoon of brown sugar. Just gives it that little sweetness. 500 mils of good chicken stock. I love to make my own chicken stock out of all the bones from the chicken. And then we go down to the aromatics and I'm using little star anise, these beautiful little aromatic star anise. It's gonna give it a lot of flavor. Two or three. One teaspoon of white peppercorns, give it a little spice. Black peppercorns. It's nice to have that variety. The white peppercorns are a little bit brighter, but the black peppercorns give it that lovely heat. And then I'm adding some garlic. So we're just gonna slice that thinly. Into the pot. One stick of cinnamon. Some fresh ginger. Just slice that nice and thinly on the diagonal. into the pot and then some spring onions finely sliced in they go and we're nearly there okay and for the chili lovers as many as you like i'm just going to put one in lovely local fresh chili grown in manji so that goes into the pot oh, looking good and then potatoes. So these are local potatoes, of course, and they've got the Buy West Eat sticker right there on the packet. That's how you know. These are super spuds and they grow them in Jinjin right down to Manjum up and across into the great southern region. And now all we do is cover it with some baking paper, pop on the lid and this goes into the oven for one hour and then we pull it out again and pop our lovely fresh veggies on top. Time to get that casserole out of the oven. Oh my gosh, we need a smell cam here. This smells incredible. All those beautiful aromatic spices, the star anise, cinnamon. Mm, absolutely amazing. As you can see, the pork and the chicken is nice and tender, looking great. So, starting with some carrots. Did you know that West Australia is one of the biggest producers of carrots? We export tons and aren't we lucky that we can buy them local? So in go the carrots. Then I'm going to add some Savoy cabbage. It's a, known as a Chinese cabbage. So I'm just gonna slice this into nice wedges and I just place that in like so. Topsy-turvy, back on with the lid and then into the oven for just half an hour more and then it's ready. And we're ready, so much goodness in this one pot. <gasps> mm, so aromatic and beautiful. And we're ready to serve. 
So there's no carbs in this dish, just lots of beautiful steamed veggies and we just put them on the bottom. So I evenly distribute the um, vegetables amongst the plates. And there you have it, a beautiful aromatic chicken and pork pot. And remember, next time you go shopping, if you want to make a good choice, look for the Little Green Buy West Eat Best label.